Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in Washington State. Thought I'd bring you guys a knife video this afternoon. I recently picked up a new knife at my local sporting goods store. Um, it's a CRKT. It is called the Overland. Give you guys a nice close look at this thing. Alright, let's talk tech specs. Alright, let's start out with some technical specifications. We've got an overall length of 7.375 inches. Blade length of 3 inches. This is a Warncliffe style blade, that's what it's labeled as on some websites. 8 CR13 MOV blade steel. Pretty common in CRKTs. Very usable blade steel, easy to sharpen. I think you all know the rest. We've got G10 scales on the scale side. Looking closer at the knife, we've got some jimping on the spine of the blade right here. Quite aggressive jimping. And some jimping on the back spacer. Now, the premise behind this knife, as I understand it best, is it is designed to excel at food prep. You can see the shape of the knife in relation with the uh, handle, the blade in relationship with the handle. You've got this big hump right here, and what this does is it get your knuckle. And what this does is it gets your knuckles up above the belly of the blade. It allows for really good chopping and slicing. So. That's, that's my interpretation of the design idea behind the knife. This is a TJ Swartz design, as you can see marked on the blade right there. We've got a somewhat deep carry pocket clip on here, not really. Non-reversible, it is right-handed, tip-up only, which is okay for folks like me, but... Um, for the south paws out there, it's not exactly ideal. I did have to do some uh, adjustments to the pivot to get this thing to open and close like I wanted it to. And it, there's still room for improvement. Another thing I noticed that I didn't like very much is blade centering. As you can see, the blade is not very well centered. Now it's not a deal breaker. I know it is for some people, but it's not for me. You expect some um, tolerance deficiencies, I guess, when you're buying a knife that is so mass produced. So I think some of that comes with the uh, territory. Again, not a deal breaker for me. Could be for some people. Um, you know, maybe you got yours and it was perfectly centered right on. Mine isn't. Um, but it'll get used just the same. So. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on this knife that I need to mention, anything notable. Um, I think it's pretty obvious through the multiple views I've showed you. This is a frame lock knife. Alright, I think that is going to round out this little video. I've been trying to keep these really short and concise. Um, Alright, like I said, that's going to do it for this little knife initial impressions. I will come back in about six months and give you all an update on this thing. Um, I'm going to try to put it through its paces and use it for what it was designed for, uh, food prep and general EDC. And I'll get back to you on what I think of it. So, till then, thanks for the continued support in the channel. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.